Would you like to find out if your DNA is causing you to be fat? I'm Gordy Camp and in this video we're going to discuss your genetic fatness. How often do we hear people on a daily basis saying things like, I've always been fat. It runs in the family. It's just the way I am. It's my DNA. I hear this all the time and it, I, can't, I can't do anything to stop myself from laughing. We all understand that some people have DNA that causes them body conditions, that stores fat in certain places or means they will store fat more than other people. And I'm not disputing that fact at all. But with diseases and illnesses put aside, do you not think that if you're genetically overweight then during your childhood you would be in and out of hospital all the time getting tests done to find out why your body is just fat? Um, it would be quite worrying, you would have quite a distressing childhood. So I think we can rule that one out. The fact of the matter is, very few people are genetically overweight. Yes, some people have slow metabolisms. Yes, some people store fat in certain areas of their body more than some of their friends or uh, than other people. And you might be able to blame it on your parents. But the only reason you can blame it on your parents is because when you were growing up, they fed you the same portions as the adults in the family. When you were growing up, you might have not been as active as you should have been. When you were growing up, maybe your activity wasn't monitored or your food wasn't monitored as well as some other people. That's what caused you to have slow metabolisms. I'm not saying that you've been brought up wrong. What I am saying is you now have a chance to change the, the situation. If your body stores more fats than some other people, stop eating so much fats, okay? By eating less fats, your body won't have the fats to store and it will have to burn the fats that are already in your body. If you have poor digestion, eat more fibre. Fibre will help you to digest the other foods that you're eating on a daily basis. You literally have to improve your whole outlook on your health and your wellness and your nutrition. You need to monitor what you're putting in your body to stop your body from storing it. If you have a slow metabolism, do more cardio, get your heart rate up, get your metabolism much faster than it already is. There's no blaming it on genetics. If your legs hold on to fat, do more workouts on your legs to, to burn that. Take control, no excuses. No blaming it on DNA, no blaming it on genetics. So your genes do play a part in your DNA, does play a part in how your body actually works. But your genes have got nothing to do with how much fat you put into your body. You're in complete control of that. And to finish, don't complain, don't be jealous by any of these naturally thin people who can eat whatever they want and they are eating whatever they want. They might be eating loads of burgers every day, they might be eating loads of chocolate. All these nasty ingredients that are really bad for you, they're not getting away with that because those ingredients are just going elsewhere. They will still suffer liver failure, they will still suffer heart disease, they will still suffer from fat stores inside the body as opposed to outside the body. It's just going elsewhere, okay? Unhealthiness gets to everyone. No one can escape the results of an unhealthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching guys. If you've got anything specific that you would like help or advice on health and fitness wise, drop me a message below this video or come and find me on Twitter and Facebook and I'll speak to you then. Take care guys. Pow!